Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me here for your reading. So we're going to go ahead and open up with the astral travel messages and overlay this with the tarot portion of the read. If you're already acquainted with the channel, you know what time it is. If you're new, this is where I connect directly to spirit to be able to anger down predictions and events that have already occurred in your life could currently be unfolding and then we'll take a look at what awaits you on this timeline ahead. With that being said, let's go ahead and open up with your first scene and setting. So you were surfing. My crisis was surfing in these beautiful shallow uh, clear waters now while this was happening your uh, you had a rope that was attached from the surfboard to a boat and it was just taking you on this nice ride where you were able to really fully embrace and enjoy your surroundings and really just have like complete gratitude for the present moment there were certain cold patches in the water as well so let's go ahead and decode this so the water in the metaphysical realm always reflects our emotional stability and the clear ocean water that was very deep and calm represents this emotional contentment that you're feeling, especially when it comes to your subconscious mind. It represents calmness and suge suggests like tranquility that you guys are feeling right now. And um, there's a lot of aspects of yourself that you're no longer repressing. A lot of it has already purged and come to the surface, which really allows you to just embrace life to the fullest extent right now. You don't really feel like you're running from your emotions. It looks like you guys have already faced um, anything that needed to be kind of healed within yourself. And the surfing indicates ups and downs and emotional situations within our relationships. And it represents your ability to be able to control your emotions as these ups and downs happen. So a lot of you are definitely very content in the way that you've handled certain curveballs. And the cold water just shows that you're really in the present moment, not distracting yourself with thoughts or past worries about the future. Um, you're really just simply here in the now and you're no longer patient like waiting for things to kind of pass and it shows just mindfulness around spiritual source and <clears throat> some kind of spiritual growth there's definitely this atmosphere that portrays the condition of your inner world that was being externalized and it just shows that maybe you're even acting like coldly to a situation and you're kind of detaching from certain things and after you guys were kind of swimming, which is just representing um, emotional management and how your emotions have kind of evolved from previous states. So I feel like you're able to relate to your emotions a little bit differently, especially as you open up your level of awareness, because the rope signifies um, your relationships to others along your spiritual journey with the boat. So it's almost like you may feel like your spiritual kind of like spiritually being guided or receiving some kind of divine assistance or guidance your faith is going to be something that's really putting you forward during this time especially as you've kind of detached and eliminated certain people it could actually feel like you have less resistance in that water as well after that you ended up on some kind of island and this represents the hidden aspects of yourself okay especially where you've emotionally detached and you may still feel isolated to some kind of degree and it shows that your level of awareness is um definitely heightened to the point where you may feel like you have to protect yourself during this time and you could be like retreating to this private oasis within and you're realizing that maybe you've been in hermit mode for a little while and it's time to begin to open up the door to communication with others because islands are almost like remote location so a lot of you have almost been led to a place of solitude and you're beginning to see what else is out there you know this is about you starting to become more open after this, you kind of got your phone and headphones, which represents your divine connection. It also shows, again, your connection to a higher power. It represents a pathway, like a spiritual hotline almost, you know, um, to a higher understanding and deeper connection. The spiritual world could also be trying to give you a buzz during this time. And this is about you guys listening closely to your inner universe and the energies and tuning in your frequency and not being like stuck on life's loudspeaker. So a lot of you have almost like you've shut off the worldly distractions around you and you're really just focused on retreating to this inner still sanctuary and you're now able to kind of go back out there feeling like you're more in tune with yourself uh just feeling more like ready to take on the world the headphones represent emotional and psychological isolation with whatever is happening around you and it just shows that you're kind of again focused on your internal matrix not allowing anything negative externally to govern your internal state you feel more emotionally balance and just balance when it comes to your internal state so it looks like that's going to be governing everything that you kind of do stepping back out there into the world 
and you'll focus on your personal interests without distractions from others so yeah the headphones just represent your ability to tune out distractions and concentrate on what truly matters to you especially as you kind of get back out there and again realizing when it's time to kind of disconnect and retreat to your own peace and clarity and you can easily identify if people are kind of disrupting that state of being so you know when it's time to kind of go into reclusive mode you know when it's time to kind of put yourself back out there after this you were kind of recording buildings and you were enjoying the moment with the people that you came with and buildings signify your emotions in regards to changes that you're making in waking life recording always shows that you're re-evaluating your past memories you could be finding the silver lining in these experiences changing the way that you relate to the past and just not being naive but seeing the beauty within the mess and after this there was themes around hairdressing and uh, people that were just out of alignment with you, especially as people were like pressing their morals or beliefs onto you. You didn't really want to go back into that situation. Um, there was a scenario that was very out of alignment with a karmic relationship and they were trying to get you involved in certain energy exchanges and you didn't really want to be involved. And there was Gemini energy. So maybe you're dealing with a Gemini or just someone that had that tendency to kind of like have two sides to them and there was itchy eyebrows and a spiritual teacher so the eyebrows show what is often overlooked in everyday life it also could be a sig symbolic significance uh, significance when it comes to protection expression and intuition in various aspects of your life it also shows that your intuition is hint hinting to you strongly about unfulfilled desires within a cycle and being able to open up to a point of divergence the spiritual teacher is like recognition on your path and realizing where cycles have been closing you off from new experiences so again a lot of you are repeating like this um infinite feedback loop and you're changing your energetic vibration and signature and that's changing the new experiences that you're kind of like feeding into this timeline there was also a toaster that was sinking which kind of reminds me of um like it being a pun for oh that is toast you know that relationship is toast that, <laughs> that job is toast that friendship is toast like you know it's just done for and the sinking shows that the foundation was not solid in the first place and it just shows like this internal architecture where you're like there's symbolic feelings around um like un someone undermining your efforts or whatever that could be maybe it just wasn't built on mis online values or whatever that is and it also shows um, almost like because if you uh, obviously like put your hand in water that has like electrical faults, there's definitely going to be the chance of electrocution, which shows that um, if you try to save this, it's just not going to work. It's almost like a hazardous sh situation at this point. And um, it kind of reminds me of a tower. Like you can try to force this, but inevitably something bad will happen. You know, you don't want to invite more chaos into your life. And the electric shock is always like warnings. So even if you tried, I feel like your subconscious would show you that there is a hidden threat there or danger within your connection or involvement within some kind of rope like companionship. Um, but yeah, Aquarius, so let's go ahead and open up this reading uh, with the soul's journey message and just see what it is that you guys need to embody more of during this time. We have envy. So I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. And then we have adversity at the base. Um, envy is really just a fool's game. It's saying that everything looks perfect from far away. So, you know, some of you, again, this could be a comparison being the thief of joy during this time. And envy really just stems when there's something discontent happening within ourselves. And we're looking outside of ourselves um, for like acceptance or validation. Or we just feel like, you know, someone else has it easier. Maybe you could be looking at the people around you and you're like, well, why didn't they go through this like sp specific karmic situation or whatever that is? But you only get to see a, a tiny bit on what lies on the surface, but there's always so much more depth to a situation. And again, everything looks perfect from far away. And um, envy really is a fool's game because sometimes you're compare yourself with a situation that you know nothing about or a person and you don't even know the half of it so whatever this is again adversities are going to be the best way to learn this is just going to allow you to look at something deeper within yourself let's see where this is stemming from again i am the same as everybody but with different challenges and again those challenges are the best way to learn so some of you this is like building you up it isn't breaking you down
some of you could even be like feeling like there's a lack or whatever that is. Um, some of you, the person that you disconnected from, you may feel like upon the surface they've taken this a lot easier than you. Because again, we have the devil and we have the king of wands, which is almost like someone that you could have been dealing with that... Um, could have been definitely full of pride in some way their pride bright pride could have blinded them to you a lot of you it is a situation that you have divested from realizing that it's not in alignment with your bigger vision um there is something that's kind of going on here around you know some of you it could be in playish archetype if you guys are taking on this archetype i feel like you're realizing where people are kind of disrupting or they're very taxing to this bigger visionary goal that you have of your life and the king of wands he can grow anything and it will grow and um evolve but is he growing and investing into weeds that are just becoming further taxations to him or is he investing into flowers right that are going to grow and blossom and bloom and really allow him to enjoy those fruits of his labor so a lot of you that is like a divergence point that's kind of going on there you're realizing where you've been investing into the illusion of comfort right someone may be trying to convince you that those weeds will blossom into flowers um with whatever that is so we'll see what's going on there yeah we i feel like you're a lot of you are gaining clarity where you had clouded judgment you're finding gaining clarity about somebody's character judgment it definitely could have been like something that you were oppressing or suppressing but eventually everything came to the surface and kind of purged i feel like spirit was definitely getting you to open up to some kind of death or ending in your life because that opens up a portal towards new dimensions where new stories can begin to take place and again i feel like you did have clouded judgment maybe your head needed a little bit more time to accept what your heart already knew or your soul already knew about some kind of connection to you <coughs> Yeah, and we have the ten of uh, coins, which is about your long-term visions. Like a lot of you, a continuum didn't go where you wanted it to go. You know, it's still going to turn the way you hope, but just not the way you planned. So some of you are almost like this could be stemming from a path of resistance, and you feel like the resistance would eventually come to an end when it never really would. Like in reality. There's something that you can learn moving forward, especially when it comes to realizing that, you know, certain contracts, they serve a purpose and they no longer do. So maybe this is like being able to, sorry, um, identify when they long, no longer serve a purpose. And, you know, these tr true, cold, harsh facts will make us miserable at first, but then they will only set us free. So a lot of you are almost like being set free and maybe your purpose is kind of guiding these next steps forward, especially when it comes to your healing journey or your soul's evolution really gain, gain clarity on who it is that you feel like is worth investing into maybe this is about investing into yourself for the meantime <clears throat> let's take a look at this other archetype yeah Again, this person could have definitely been a missionary manipulative. Um, they could have been like low key obsessed, like in the background there with the Knight of um, Cups, and uh, a little bit emotionally manipulative in that way, especially when it comes to coming forward with love offers. This could be on two motives. Um, this could be someone that does a lot more thinking and then they do action. So maybe there was some kind of inconsistency there. And again, this can definitely be someone that is jealous. You know, they can operate on those lower planes of consciousness. <clears throat> and it's like your sweet welcome home was a lie you know and um, the sweet welcome that they gave you was a lie again we have the hermit and the six of wands which is literally the same two cards that came out in your other reading that i did so a lot of you it's like um someone could be watching you kind of get back out there into the world and it's like you're coming um you're coming forward or you're putting yourself back out there after a long time in hermit mode or a lot of long time like in introspection you're coming back forward 
with a bang i'm hearing like your sword's like you're cu- getting out of your own head and you're really getting into the moment and somebody could definitely be jealous or envious of you like some of you it may not even be you you know some of you it could even be like people around you and you've actually seen this adversity as a, you know a way to learn I, mean, I feel like to someone else as well it looks like you've moved on so easily you know it kind of gives me that vibe but really it's been a lot of having to address from what you've been trying to run from within yourself and what this person is still running from like are they really healed or are they just distracted you know it kind of gives me that vibes and maybe you guys tried to distract yourself and you realize that you couldn't really you know not for long anyway you can't run from your feelings forever yeah a lot of you are literally moving away removing yourself from um someone that was co consistently inconsistent again you're cutting your losses with the situation you're going through a rite of passage right now um you're being really selective when it comes to the energy exchanges that you do want to be a part of and i feel like you're moving on for your own peace of mind and you're realizing that you're not really losing anything at all in that process you're actually gaining so much more and i love you it's just that clarity that you needed around who it is that you are the things that you deserve what it is that you want from your life it's looking really positive to be honest with you i'm not going to mess with this too much i'm just going to close out on a shaman's dream oracle okay we have deep diver diving into a task which is super interesting because again we have that water element coming through very very strongly let's go ahead and read this number 10 so again this is all about completions that are coming into your life this one doesn't actually come out very often um so embracing risk diving into a task new discoveries it's easy to play in the shallows where the waters are clear which is all what's happening in that in that dream right and all you can see is that which glitters by your feet anyone can venture here there is a little risk and nothing to discover no dark secret nothing that you can't already perceive the treasure has been long being picked away replaced by gentle certainty in the shallow river uh sorry in the shallow river is safety and no surprises uh but that's not who's calling you now the deep diver invites you to take the plunge with him you can't see at the bottom but you must swim to the dark depths to find the mysteries that eludes you now he knows where the pearls lie beneath the ancient sands you are called to look beyond the surface of things for your answer let your intuition propel you into the water allowing your memories to swirl around you and your emotions to you as well and you face the unknown your curiosity will be your greatest guide you'll surely discover something wondrous to bring back to everyone who is wading by the shore but only you will truly know the value of your discovery are you willing to do the work dive in make the commitment to see it through you'll be amazed so again it's almost like you went through the shallow waters you made it to the island and now it's time to kind of go back out there you know as we were talking about but now you're going into unknown terrain and different territories so a lot of you you're making it back out on the other side of this in-between worlds right they are kind of like navigating and it does require you to go through that rite of passage it does require you to kind of take a calculated risk here with the knight of um swords as well and move into the unknown but be excited by it you know it's nothing to be fearful of it's something that is going to liberate you and sometimes everything that you've ever wanted is on the other side from what you have once experienced and you're realizing that sometimes where the grass is greener it looks greener because it's fake you know <laughs> and envy is almost like um you can't almost like again have a situation didn't you can't envy a situation like not going the way that you planned in some way you know maybe some of you it's a timeline where something could have turned out the way you planned but then it wouldn't have ended up how you hoped you know so a lot of you it's coming to terms with that and accepting that with radical acceptance and knowing that it was always meant to be this way but anyway i wish you the very best of luck here aquarius uh let's close out with the universal message right now quick we'll just get one card let's see what your ascended ancestors higher self and guides want you to know we have the river of change how interesting so much water coming out for you guys so again it's really surrendering and letting go to that flow utilizing discernment's lens unveiling eternal truths to you realizing that as you surrender and let go and you come into the state of neutral observation you realize that the universe really is conspiring in your favor right now um as have they always been you know you just don't see certain layers that go beyond you during this time but your guides do so allow yourself to be guided there 
but all rivers will lead to the ocean inevitably so again it's about you guys connecting to that higher power and having a trust fall with the universe in this next stage of your journey but i wish you the very best of luck here aquarius take a look at your other readings on my second channel if you haven't already subscribed to this channel on instagram for future reads you consider subscribing personal reading details are also down below and until next time bye